Hello, welcome to my channel. This is my first video here, and in it I will show you how I made Miss Bacon No More. She was my 2018 costume based on a sketch I made for Inktober 2018 for the word swollen. For these masks, the first thing I did was to make a cap and then a face mask with one inch foam. I used hot glue to put it all together. And then I drew very loosely the elements of the face. I started building the 3D face using cut foam and hot glue. and. Um, slowly try to make it what I wanted it to be. I used um, paper clips, the binder clips, so I wouldn't have to always hold it with my hands because it was very hot. <laughs> I used a Christmas ornament split in two, with each half being one eye. The middle of the eye, the pupil, is made with very fine mesh fabric, and I painted a white circle all around on the outside of the eyes to give a little bit of three-dimensionality. The eyes are now completed, and I just mocked place them kind of where they were going to go. When it was time to cover the head, I collected a number of fabrics so I could play with texture and color. In order to make patterns for the fabric, I first covered the head in plastic and then in duct tape. Then I cut the pieces of duct tape um, to lay on top of fabric which I attempted to sew with my sewing machine and to cover this head. And um, it proved to be much hotter than I thought. This was my very first head ever. So I really didn't like the look of it. It was starting to look more like a stuffed animal and I didn't want it to look so plushy and I wanted it to be a little bit more realistic. So I went back to my fabric pile and decided to do the Final leather. This material allowed me more flexibility with the quality of the ears, which are made by placing a cardboard between two pieces of vinyl leather. And it gave me a little bit of a playroom with the floppy piece on top of the ear. Painted vinyl leather really worked for me. I pinned it and um, hot glued it as I went. There was no need for patterns. And I really enjoy the painting part of it because I really enjoy painting. So <laughs> this was a, a great fun. eventually are just squeezed on into place and um, you'll see they actually fog quite a bit and I will be replacing them soon as well without the um, bubble on top. I place some vinyl on top with some straw or uh, raffia straw cut as eyelashes and here she is putting her earrings completely painted, shellacked and also sporting some hair, which comes from fuzzy fabric that I had on hand. The tray I found at the thrift store is a plastic tray painted in silver with a Velcro loop on the bottom, as well as fabric hot glued on top. The baby is also from the thrift store. 
I filled the holes in the bag with wood filler and sanded them once they dried. His eyes were painted shut with acrylic paint and um, he was then spray painted along with some severed fingers from the Halloween store from many years ago. I wanted the baby to have the roasted golden color so I used pearlescent paint from the craft store. He then had a good amount of hot glue put on him and this hot glue was also painted. I surrounded him with paper shredded paper to look like lettuce and fruits and other things made of plastic just as a nice little <laughs> setting this is baby all painted and then he got shellac as well the drippy drops fat with gooey barbecue sauce On Halloween, Miss Bacon No More was very excited to share her roast, her prize roast via Facebook. This is a recording of the live feed that she did that day. And the only thing that I really had to go out of my way to get was the blue ribbon for the prize. Um, it is from Amazon. Otherwise, everything else is found at a local thrift store or craft store. I also failed to say her mouth is open so I get air through her mouth as well as a little bit through her eyes but that's why they get foggy. After her Facebook meet and greet, Miss Piggy took herself to the market to the view her face. I really enjoyed working on this project. I had her in my mind for many years and only now I was able to make her. So I enjoy bringing it to life. I enjoyed working with different materials and challenging myself to think outside the box. I really like how she is not plushy. She doesn't look like a toy, but she's a little freaky, a little scary at the same time. Uh, I am utterly opposed to mistreatment of animals for human consumption, so this costume really means a lot to me and uh, I hope to use it again for another trip to the market on occasion. It's good to raise awareness. After the market, Miss Piggy went to a party and had a wonderful time. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please drop me a line, hit subscribe, and come back to see me again soon.